Alrighty. Off we go. Does Kinnon take a big hit from the laid ban? So let's answer that question with the three twos with Talisman 2. Yes, they were. Uh, one of them was. The other time I played Jiggy's List. Jiggy's List has main deck Galvanic Blast. Mine doesn't. Uh, he's also not playing the Trinket Mage package. So let's talk about Teamer, Kinnon, Erosa. Um, so this is the deck I'm probably best well known for in the recent chunk of modern history. Uh, helped develop it with my good friend Jiggy Wiggy. And uh, we had some concern about the viability of the deck without Astrolabe, which has been mostly assuaged with a couple of leagues that we have each run. Um, so largely we're juggling around a couple of slots, but it, the deck has always been like that. Uh, I think the four slot, basically, I've kind of settled on this as being largely what I want. Uh, we're trying out Lanwar Visionary right now. So this is a three mana, two, two. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, and it taps for one green. If you have a Kinnon in play, it taps for two green. We also put some Talisman and Curiosities in here as well. So that's, I think, largely just the only changes I've made. Talisman of Curiosity can come down early and keep producing mana. Also, if your Kinnon dies, Talisman of Curiosity uh, allows you to, uh, to play your Urza, your Song of Creation, or your card ahead of time. Give me one second. Weird. Thought I heard something. So, that's where we're at. Uh, if you want more information on this, there's a ton, ton, ton of information uh, about this deck and other videos about it. So, let's get into a league and have some fun. By the way, I just got two more Uros. I have three now. I noticed I had a bunch of cards I didn't need, so I turned them into Uros, getting closer to owning a real deck. Nice! Well, uh, I would expect me on Saturday to be playing this deck in the Zendikar Rising Super Qualifier. Adding some one-drops, is that so incorrect like four nobles? I, I'm i consistently reluctant to add things like Noble Hierarch or Birds of Paradise because I really don't like creatures with one toughness. That said, it's it's maybe it's the right thing to do. I I also it's an Urza deck, so I don't I want some number of the four cards that I lost that were all artifacts to be artifacts still. Um, but maybe that's right. I don't know. Ooh, I'm playing against Zach. Five eighteen. Oh, Jiggy's version was playing a whack of Witchbane Orbs. Not Witchbane Orbs, Witching Wells. You wouldn't play a whack of Witchbane Orbs. Uh, for five lands, Emery Bobble. This is not... All right, I think we're shipping this one. Witching Well seems pretty good. It's okay. So I don't love Ren and Six with no fetch lands. But I think we are going to keep this. Luckily we have uh, Uro, not Uro, Urion, with which we can start doing stuff fairly quickly. There's a lot of chromatic star. Uh, so Jiggy had like one in his list. It's also possible chromatic star is worth playing. I don't know. It is good with Emery. It kind of functions like a um, 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 words uh, Mistress Bobble. And then if you have a cannon in play, it does add extra mana. So yeah. Uh oh. Okay, Green Tron is one of the worst matchups for this deck. 
especially as I've got it currently configured. Eldrazi Tron is uh, medium minus, let's say. Um, wait. Mana Silex. I want to give you a timeout and tell you to think about what you just said, but I'm not going to. But I want to. Astro I, I know what the card is. Do you know why nobody knows what that card is? Because it's terrible. It's really, really spectacularly bad. No, 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 I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't, I could have done that for myself. Please don't do that. I was making a crappy joke. <sighs> yeah, it's really, really bad. Thank you. Uh, I apologize for that, Pi. Okay. Um, I can play Ren and Six, Amber, Springleaf Drum. Okay. Or Cannon, Amber, yeah. The problem is this hand isn't really going anywhere either way, but it almost doesn't matter which variety of Tron I'm against here. This hand is like really not great, but I apologize for that, Pi. Um, Mana Silex is unplayable. I'm pretty sure of it. If you have seen or played the, the dice deck, Pi, I think you might have a clearer idea of why, even with Urza or Kinnon, yes. I would... I would propose that Prophetic Prism is more playable than Mana Silex. I really mean it. I, I, I don't think Mana Silex is, like, remotely playable in Modern. You can try it if you want to. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. But I, I think it is roughly god-awful. Yeah, exactly. I would be much more willing to try out Prophetic Prism before I tried out Mana Silex, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so we do have an extra turn before they're going to hit Tron. So I can go one, two, three, and I can also make a food this turn. So, Kinnon, Kinnon, Kinnon. Yep. Well, things are not looking good in round number one, Jiggy. My opponent's on some variety of Tron. But I assume it's E-Tron because they played Blast Zone. And they have a pretty slow hand. I wish you were playing my Plow Unders. Well, you didn't trade them to me. Oh, bet you wish you were playing my Plow Unders. No, no, I don't. I do wish we could find good technology for beating Tron. Yeah, Jiggy tried it. Jiggy is the much more willing to run jank out of the two of us. And I really do think that as a as a as a team, we do function very well because you are more willing to entertain insane ideas, and I sometimes pull you back to the like mo more reasonable version of the insane idea you came up with. Nothing's going to matter when they o -sto o stone me or Ugin next turn, but until then, this is kind of awesome. Like, I'm, I'm kind of doing it. Beautiful synergy, exactly. Do, do, dad, and dad, and do, 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 do,
For anyone who's wondering, yes, that was Madonna's Beautiful Stranger. Oh, well then. I guess I could draw the best possible card for this situation, sure. I'm not gonna, I'm not upset about it, I'm just surprised. Yeah, I have to eat my fetch land, but that's okay. If it's an Ugin, it doesn't matter anyway, so. What the hell is happening? Are you cranking your blast zone? God, that's such a good sign for me. This might not actually be good for me, but it's a good sign. Because the the fact that they crank their blast zone there means they like might actually intend to pop it. What if he pops blast zone? It kills my kitten and my Renin Six. I really couldn't care less. At this point against this deck, I don't care. That's fine. Feel free to pop your blast zone. Let me ping you for one first to show you that I care. It's pretty beefy? What's pretty beefy? My board? My board is huge. My board is Schwarzenegger Swole. Roy, 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 or Alex, quote that, please. God damn it, dude. What do I even pay you for? Tron sucks. Uh, not against me, they don't. Not normally. I actually don't know what kind of Tron they're on. That's not what I said. No, I don't pay them. That's why it was funny to say. Alex paid me to play a Belcher League that I 3 2 That was fun. I'm fucking ripped. Alex, what I said was, my board is Schwarzenegger swole, and it came out of my mouth without me thinking about it, and I was kind of proud. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Roy earns his paycheck around here, goddammit. All right. Um, either variety of Tron, I don't need Soul Guide Lantern. Not really. Um, I don't... I think I want all the Galvanic Blasts in either case. Uh, probably just the one. If you play Cephalid Breakfast, I'd be so happy. Okay, I'll put it on the, the, the mental list. I might, I might do something crazy like spend all of next week playing Legacy or something. I'm having a bit of a time with Modern right now without Astrolabe. It's just, I don't know. The, the Kinnon deck is still a joy to play. This, this deck feels largely unchanged, which is great. I love that. Maybe it's because it was an 80-card deck. Play Vintage. I, I don't... Here's the thing. For me to play Legacy is not painfully frustrating because i i know legacy i understand legacy i don't feel like i get smacked around playing legacy which legacy deck used to be known as raisin bran i don't know but that is a quick and fun trivia question i would say all right we're gonna keep this ship one of the trinket mages and actually ship one of the geese let's get risky Pieces my my recital. Allurin, that's funny. Oh god, Allurin. Oh, that's 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 not fun. Good thing I have um, trinket mage to get engineered explosives. That deck must be unplayable on MTGO. No, no, no. No, World Gorger is playable, so Aluren must be. 
a four one like five leagues with Lurin. I believe that. Alurin Alurin's don't get me wrong, I'm sure Alurin is is shitty to play on MTGO, but I'm, it's not unplayable. They gave up the potential for turn three Tron to play the relic. That has to mean they have it in hand. Which is upsetty spaghetti. No chalice. What? I'm confused. What are you? What? Oh, because I don't have the potential to create colorless mana. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if I if I could make a colorless, yeah, I, I can't. Uh, I have the talismans in the deck, so I do now have in this deck a way to create colorless mana. Yep. Okay. Not dead yet. You need more mana silex. Mana silex can't add colorless. I know you know that. I can block and do that, and it's uh, better. Yikes. Or I could take all of this, make a food, then on my turn, make a food and Galvanic Blast for four. I get to keep a Trinket Mage. Yeah, that's not really useful. Okay. That was a mistake. Okay, didn't get punished. Whew. Well, that is a big, big pickup. Uh, I should have grabbed a green source with the fetch. Now I can't do anything else this turn. Unless I... Hold on. No, I can. But it's not great. Play the goose. Get the food. T 
tap for green, which means I'm not casting the Ren six this turn. That, that actually doesn't matter. Just cast the arrow. Put the arrow in the graveyard for them to eat with the relic, but that's fine. Whoa. This been, okay, this has been a draw in my 80 card deck. That's a big yikes. Kel Surprise. Oh, I, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're done here. I can't catch up. I'll never beat the Smasher. Not, not with all of my one drops dead to a Blast Zone out of their hand. That was, that was a draw. All right. Game number three. Okay, now I know I'm against Etron, so I do want more Galvanic Blasts. Moving that four. Okay. Try it like this. Let's do it. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Everyone who's wandering on in here, checking out my sweet teamer Kinnan Rosa deck. Out of the whole messed up new modern format, this is definitely my favorite thing to do. I say messed up. I don't really mean that. The new modern is probably about as good as the old modern. It's just my favorite. My favorite card and my favorite two archetypes got nerfed. Well, now that's a hand. So we're going to fetch a breeding pool. Then we're going to have turn two, run and six. Keep due to Ren. Oh no, we're definitely keeping this hand. The only question in this hand is, do I play Pithing Needle on turn one? And if I do, am I naming Expedition Map? Explain why. But, 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 Pi. If they play a map on turn one, I have to not play Ren and Six on turn two. Just wait, there are lots of sweet targets. There's three, there's map, uh, there's four. There's map, blast zone, Ugin, and then there's Karn. And Karn, I don't really always want to name, but Karn? The thing is, Karn's static text is so bad for me that him not being able to activate is not that big of a deal. I guess I could just play the Shadow Spear on one instead and just assume they don't have a map in their six card hand, but... I feel like they always have the map. Bobble them first. Sure. Figure things out from there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Karn liberated. Okay, so I'm going to play this Shadow Spear um, <clears throat> on turn one. <clears throat> and then I'm going to pass the turn. And I'm going to concede that Pi is a very good player. <clears throat> Always trust the one and only Pi Conti. Relic, sure. Waiting for them to pay... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell? So we know there are Etron that plays Karn Liberated. Good to know. Since they went after my land aggressively there, yikes. Okay. Get a forest, get a forest. The only thing that matters is get a forest. 
There we go. All, li listen, guys, all, all of those were on uh, on measure, very fine plays. The most important thing was to play and use the bobble on turn one. If I was going to use it, like, there's only two ways to use it, is use it on them and then decide if I'm going to play Shadow Spear or play the... Ooh, that is a poor draw. They cannot be on a one-lander. Ouch! And they top-decked a Karn Liberated? Fuck, man. I should just Pithing Needle their Relic of Progenesis. Progenitai. They... I don't... Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do, and they're gonna be totally fucked. We're just gonna play Urza next turn and not care about anything ever. Maybe crack the relic instead of playing the second one. Yeah, yeah, I think they should have. In fact, they really should have. Maybe they don't. They probably don't necessarily know that I play Pithing Needle. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether or not you play the Pithing Needle, they need to hit their land drop. Land isn't in their hand, so they should draw the card and hit their land drop. How do they benefit from both second relic? I have no idea. Stream drop. Always be plugging ABP, baby. Hope everyone out there in the wonderful world of Twitch is having a great night. We are having a time here playing some Teamer Kenan Rosa. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. We're against the one and only Hugo Freitas one. His hand is really really poor especially on the draw i think pi might be right i think we need more low cmc plays in this deck um and while i am reluctant to include things like birds of paradise or noble hierarch it's probably correct it's gonna drive me up the freaking wall but pretty sure hugo freitas is on storm which is really bad for us again it feels like the new meta has a bunch of decks that are really bad for us all of a sudden. Great Storm player? Yeah. Yeah. When I saw the name, I was like, oh no, I recognize this name. That's never a good sign. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to shock and play the Gilded Goose, but I forgot that I drew it. Oh well. I was talking about my opponent's record, etc. <laughs> oh, good luck. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. We're super fucked. I don't think it mattered anyway. Um, this is this is one of our... Probably one of our worst matchups. Uh, and it's very unlikely for us to be able to pull through it, even if we had played out perfectly. B4 Talisman. What? Concede before... T what? So maybe... No, I'm not going to do that. I mean, you're you're a hundred percent right in terms of like absolute one hundred percent MTGO equity, but I, I don't I don't want to start playing Magic like that. Like maybe their hand is awful, and we get to like rip a Karn and go like Kinnon Karn Damping Sphere, and somehow they don't have a remand anywhere in all of those things. It could happen. Don't tell me it couldn't happen because it could happen. It's like Cameron Diaz. I could it could it could happen. Don't tell me never tell me the odds. I hope someone here appreciates that joke. I don't even know if that is a joke. Kind of. It's kind of a joke. I don't know. I mean, we get to Damping Sphere next turn. I feel so baked after hearing that. What? Karn achieved. I mean, they're playing Sleight of Hand, right? That means they don't have it, right? No, they could have it. Shit. Fuck, they totally have it. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, don't do this to me. No! Ah! Uh, fuck. They totally have it now. Shit, we were so close. They stumbled a little tiny bit. Storm for once did not have the turn three on me. So I have to... So I choose which cards go in the graveyard. I have to give them the least amount of mana here, right? Because they have one mana. Mana Morphos puts them up one. So in theory, yeah, we're choosing both of the rituals. I'm just explaining why. Yeah, correct. So if they don't have the Pass and Flames in hand right now, they can't necessarily win the game unless they have more rituals and they knew to sequence the gifts ungiven early. Which is possible. I would believe that this Storm player is that good. I would believe it. Fuck. Yeah, they have it. Are they a prominent MTGO player? Yeah, they're on the leaderboard all the time. God damn it, they had two rituals still? Jesus. Unless they don't have the past in flames. Oh, they're just going to grab the... They have a second gift sum given? No, yeah, they have the past. Okay, I'm just fucked. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm good, I'm good. I don't need to see any more. You had it. They had exactly what I was talking about there. They had... Yeah, that was the nuts. For sure they have Piff because they could have chosen that. But if they chose that, they would... It would mean that they weren't going off this turn. I got rocked by this deck last time I played Magic. I mean, Storm is really good.
no, I, I understand that pie. I'm just saying it, it was possible they were trying to set up for the best possible next turn, but they, they just had everything on that turn. Okay, so this is better than the first hand ship on Ox Amber. Uh, one other subtle difference between Jiggy Wiggy and I, uh, Jiggy continues to play a Ketria Triome, and I don't. Uh, I don't think Ketria Triome is a worthwhile risk in this deck. So this is really frustrating, because this means they're going to have Remand. And the reason that's frustrating is I'm going to play a three mana play that I was really hoping would resolve because my three mana play is a creature that will get me another mana and that other mana will allow me to cast a soul guide lantern. The soul guide lantern will allow me to have the ability to uh, exile their graveyard. Are there versions with force of negation cryptic any good? I I'm sure they are. Um, I don't normally choose to play them. I don't like them as much. They have a lot. Just play bomb. You mean Uro? Cause I'm pretty, uh, yikes. Spell bomb. Well, I mean, doesn't matter now. Didn't matter then. E either way, every, everything in my hand is the wrong play for, for what this is. So I can play Uro and Trinket Mage, but I'll have zero mana left afterwards. I can get Engineer Explosives for next turn. Problem is they have six cards in hand and they've played an Aria of Flame, so I'm probably just dead. I think the best line is still to play Trinket Mage into Soul Guide Lantern in that case, because Soul Guide Lantern means that if their if their line is Aria Flames into uh but if their line involves a past in flames at any point, they won't get to uh execute it very well. Yes, you're right, but they also could have not had the remand. Seems unlikely, but I also feel like the, the risk to pay off ratio was better on what I did. Like, I appreciate what, what happened versus what could have happened, but I also appreciate that I think the upside was way, way higher. And in order to determine the difference between those two, two things, we would have to drill down into all the statistical likelihoods, which, you know. Give me a second remand. Shit. I don't know. It's like how I play infect against infect sometimes when I was playing Niv Mizzet. Like there are certain times where I'll just be like, "Well, if they don't have a specific sequence of pump spells, then I'm going to do this, and I will set myself up to win the game rather than waiting out a turn in which I might not lose the game." It was a judgment call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're, we're pretty fucked here. They got a Manamorphos in there? Okay, we're almost dead. Okay. Storm, Storm is like an unwinnable matchup for us, so I'm not surprised to lose it. <sighs> yeah. The varieties of Tron are at least beatable, but Storm is just way too consistent. The versions of this deck playing Force of Negation and Cryptic would be better. However, my general feeling about that is that if you want to play those decks, you should probably just be playing Team or Urza and probably be playing a 60-card version of it. If you want to play that like mid-range control blue deck. If the two Ravenous Traps in the sideboard became Surgicals, it would still have the same use versus Dredge, but also help versus Storm. Uh, not true, and that's a different deck. Not same use. Just some use. True. So, um, I've said in the past that the ideal sequence of lands on turn one and two is snow-covered forest into steam vents, which I did not respect with my play here. Um, I should have used uh, Prismatic Vista to get the snow-covered forest and the Misty Rainforest to get the steam vents this turn. Looks like it's not going to matter, but for anyone who's curious. Um... Going to shock play Trinket Mage into um, Pithing Needle here. Noted. Are you are you noting the thing that I have repeatedly expressed? I, I'm okay with it. I'm just curious because I I would have thought Roy that you would have come to that conclusion sooner than I did, and therefore that wouldn't be news to you. Merfolk. Has been surprisingly popular. Harbinger of the Tides? Lord of Atlantis. Sure. You got it. This has been as far as uh, I did, but it was a good point to make. Oh, thanks, friend. Yeah. So, and for a further dissertation, because this is the first time I've mentioned it in this stream, um, if you play words, uh, if you have a snow covered forest and a steam vents in play, you can play Renin six or trinket mage on turn two, which are the turn two plays you want to make with the deck. Sorry, sorry. You can play Renin six or Kennen. Bonder Prodigy. And those are the most important turn two plays in the deck. So if you have Snow Covered Forest and Steam Vents, you can play Kinnon or Ren and Six, which are the most color intensive turn two plays in the deck. Holy yikes! That's a lot of fucking lords. Am I dead next turn? Jesus Christ, I'm dead on turn fucking four. No, okay. Whew. Jesus. I thought I added to the board quickly. All right. 
Uh, they have 12 power right now. If the last card in their hand... Oh, this is a 5-5. Five, five. I'm just dead, right? Jesus. Nice hand. Well, I mean, I tried. Fuck me sideways. <sighs> yep. Well. Maybe they don't know how their deck works, even though they've been massacring me in about three seconds. It's my arch nemesis. Yeah, Jiggy, I know. The last couple times I've played against it, I've just manhandled it, but I know that's not necessarily par for the course. Entire board of unblockable mother truckers. Okay, just kill me. Their force of negation wasn't even relevant because they viled in their creature immediately afterwards. No, it was. It was. It was when they did it. Okay, they know what's up. All right, I'm just dead. Got it. Got it. Got it. No, it's cool. It's cool. All I needed to know is that you understood that you had a mute vault on the battlefield and that it was a merfolk. Feels like Jiggy might be onto something with cutting Trinket Mage. Which I hate to see it go, but. Roy, it also notably shares all creature types with um, uh, Dryad Arbor. Lanor Visionary is so good? Really? Happy to hear that. And our visionaries don't. I think, yeah, we maybe should be playing um, or visionary for time warp. Whoa, you're going deep, huh? I mean, yeah, that's definitely a way you could do it. How many songs are you on? We're just going to lose this game to mulling into oblivion. Sweet. Sweet! We're going to four! Are we going to four? I think we're going to four. Yay, magic! Oh, man. I would have kept that last... What, the six? Yeah, I... But it had nothing else, right? I don't know, maybe. As far as fours goes, it's pretty good. That's the best possible draw. Thank you, Dick. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. 
God, I'm so sick of that happening. They always force the Renin Six. Everyone always forces the Renin Six. Chalice on one is hilarious. Because Chalice on zero, I feel like, would be a lot more dangerous. We'll see. Well, it's already doing well. Why does Merfolk not have the Force of Negation? Yeah, but I also had to mold a 4. They're all cheaters that play 8. Lanor Visionary coming in clutch! <laughs> Boop! I mean, they missed their they missed their land drop on the previous turn. I'm just really annoyed that their deck stops playing uh, stopped playing Curse Catcher because Curse Catcher was like by far the worst Merfolk in the world against us. Just not good, not even close. And that made their deck way worse when they played it. Mara Ragery on top. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good draw. So we go drum, countered, yep. So I really, really hope they don't have some kind of counter that actually is going to hit this arrow. Mystical dispute. No, yeah, they got something. Of course they got something. Deprive. Fuck. I mean, I know I have a second one, but like, ugh, my graveyard, ugh. And they've got the Marrow Regery now. Well, I mean, they... they I don't think they passed with nothing in hand. I was just hoping that it wouldn't work against an escaped Uro because they were hoping that I couldn't do it. Because sometimes you have to just clench and hope your opponent doesn't have it. And they did. And my Galvanic Blasts currently do nothing, which is super. I love it when my sideboard cards are useless. Oh, cool. So are both my Gilded Geese. Yay, magic. The reason we didn't leave our Llanowar Visionary back to block the Marrow Regery is I assume it wouldn't be allowed to because they would just play a Merfolk and tap my Llanowar Visionary, so I feel like putting a Gilded Goose into my graveyard is more useful. God bless it. And they have more Silvergill Adepts. Not that that's surprising, it's just frustrating because it's like free value for them. And they reveal the Master of the Pearl, Pearl Tridents, which they're going to play. Plus, Mara Regery also has the ability to untap their lands. So it basically makes all their creatures cost one less, which is insane. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking play another Lord. I guarantee you their deck plays 8 to 12 two-mana Lords, plus the Mara Regeries. Their deck seems almost good. Oh, it is. You should play it on your channel, man. You play all the good tribal decks. I don't want to play against their Chalice on one. Jesus Christ. Not the Force of Negation in the other game. <sighs> okay. Never lost a match versus Merfolk in your life. You're the opposite of uh, Jiggy Wiggy. 
I love that the only one in this league that we beat was Etron. Got dumpstered by Storm and beaten up by Merfolk. Who the hell needs counters when you have meddling mage and Thalia? I agree with you. I really like humans. I don't play it often or very well, but I really like humans. I like the fact that it's a five color aggro deck. It just makes me happy. So we got turn two talisman into Emery, which is kind of sick. Plus one mana left over. Let's hope it's relevant against my opponent on the play in modern. We're in the concealed courtyard bracket. Okay. I almost feel like I should have played the Prismatic Vista because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lean and arbitered. But maybe I'm going to get poxed. Charming Prince. Okay. What do you think this is? Black, white, Eldrazi and taxes? Concealed Courtyard, that's bold. It's a bold play, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for them. One bottom, one top. Okay. I'm assuming I'm about to see Eldrazi Temple Thought Knots here. Nope. Yep. My Emery Flip Zero Artifacts. Yikes. Well, drew the bobble. Who likes my turn three? I don't know. I think we could do better. I do have a screenshot from a, from a league the other night where I did something like this on turn three with a single land. It was, um... My turn one was land Springleaf Drum. My turn two was Goose Goose. And then my turn three was definitely not opponent. Yeah. Please be a reality smasher. No. Mother flipper. God. Ah. That's been this week. Good evening, MTGA kid. I'm glad you got to come in and see that happen. And we're still fine. We're still fine. We're probably even better than fine. But that was frustrating, to say the least. Oh, and they can flicker Uro, and he won't come back. But that's six mana. 
So I think what I'd rather do than play the Uro out of my graveyard this turn is go one, two, three. Trinket Mage. Oh, I can still play the Uro. Never mind. We can do both. Yay, Gilded Geese. You know what? I am going to try a version with um, Birds of Paradise or Noble Hierarch. Shh, I tapped the wrong land to be able to do what I need to do. I, I needed to tap the mountain to do what I wanted to do. Uh, that's fine, probably. Maybe not. We'll find out. It's probably fine, but maybe it isn't. Let's find out. So... Let's draw a card first. See if I have to go goose for goose. Yeah, I have to go goose for goose. That's fine. I'm getting that a row next game. Fight. Hide Hollow Skeller. Okay. So whatever is in my hand is not long for this world. Got it. Does that mean I want to play the spell bomb? Yeah, probably. Nope. Can't do that. So top card of their deck is Tide Hollow Skeller. That's fine. I sacked the bubble, didn't I? Yep, I did. Cause I'm a good. That's fine. I can lose that. I don't give a shit. Okay, Skeller me, baby. Just give me the skull flip. Flip my skull. Oh man, it's all coming in, huh? All right. Block. Get out of here, Charming Prince. Nobody likes you. Good top deck. I, uh, I will take it. I need two green mana. Goose plus Talisman is enough. Good. Did I win? Yep. All right. Seems like a Galvanic Blast kind of matchup. Again, Jiggy Wiggy. Soul Guide, not necessary. Aether Spell Bomb, it's fine, but not great. Ryan Six is not removal here. And the creatures have a lot of toughness. Jiggy, you might be right about the main deck Galvanic Blasts. Yeah, main deck blast is probably where we need to be. I just I just don't I liked the success we had with the original versions that were basically all permanents. Probably I'll cut some four drops. Yeah, I know. No, we do. We do. I know, but I just Yeah. Yeah, we do.
Well, that's really, 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 really bad for me. Yep. Well, I hope they're not playing, uh... They're not playing Ghost Quarter. Should have gotten red with the prismatic vista. Um, not that I need it now. I'm just worried about needing it soon and not having it. So I'm going to shock for this and hopefully get away with that. Kunaros. I don't know, Jiggy, but Jiggy don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What about the 60 card version of this deck? I don't know, dude. No, I'm not, not particularly interested. Yikes. Okay, we're about to go to one. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's been a lot of rough leagues. So I can pay to play my trinket mage, get the engineer explosives. Play it for three and then die in a bunch of different ways. Got it. Cool. Let's go game three.
Moral question, should we still play Snow Basics? I like them. So I'm going to keep playing them. Whoa! Stony silence. Ah. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not sure what to say about that one. Yeah, I, uh... You go, girl. Okay. Can I add a deck to the queue and offer compensation to get it bumped? Yes, of course. I 
I don't even have a real queue, so. Whatever deck you want to see, Jiggy, I will play it tomorrow whenever you want. Time permitting. Time permitting means I, I obviously won't play it at like 9 in the morning for me. But I, I yeah, basically whenever you want to see a deck, Jiggy, just let me know. I'll play it. Whatever it is. What is it that you want to see? It's not your mono blue Narset deck, is it? Second Arbiter. Sure. So the reason I'm not going to play the Springleaf Drum this turn is I want to use the Breeding Pool and a Goose to make a food. If they attack, I'm definitely blocking with the Llanowar Visionary. One mana is worth getting this uh, Leonid Arbor off the table. <laughs> what do you want to see, Jiggy? <laughs> and thank you for the financial donation. Dice Factory. <laughs> You know, I saw this and I kind of wanted to check it out myself. Thank you, Jurek Solameta. Jaxi Ra Jaxi Rayleigh Ameta. Jesus. Well, looks like I won. Hooray! Uh, yeah, we'll definitely play your Dice Factory deck tomorrow, uh, Jiggy. Um, probably in the evening. Yeah. It's got four Mystic Forge? Oh, hell yeah. I'm so in. Thanks, Pi. Well, you get to see if it's any good from me playing it, and if it's not, then you... Do you know what to add in Urza Modern for Astrolabe now? Uh, it just depends on which deck you're playing. Um... Some of them it's more clear cut and simple and straightforward than others. Some it's not. So, um, Urza was already not doing particularly well before the Astrolabe ban. Now it's pretty tricky. Um, I think, <sighs> yeah, I mean, it, it just depends. Uh, Wurza versus Teamer Uroza uh, are going to be different sets of cards so uh, i i don't have a clear answer for you and i don't know what's best we're trying all sorts of stuff right now uh talismans uh chromatic stars all right final match of the league on the draw pretty good hand not great, but good. Could become very good very quickly. Put them all to five. This is either good or terrible. Hmm. It's good. 
It's all good. It's a perfect draw. They already played their land for the turn. The chances of them uh, doing a light up the stage post combat is considerably less likely. We could go to Refactor the Searing Blaze. Eidolon. Well, fuck. It's classic burn. Jesus. Never play against classic burn. I could take a million damage to kill this Eidolon because I didn't play my Mox Amber early because I'm a weird, greedy sequencer. Take two. Take two. So I got a 10 for it. It's probably worth doing, to be honest. Not getting any better. Oh no. Hold on. I don't go to 10 for it because the ballista is uh, 4 CMC. Okay. Not quite as bad. Still awful. Still real bad, but. Two mana for four damage is pretty uh, par for the course for their deck. It's our last card, Skewer. So we go block. Ping. Okay. So you wanted to take an extra two damage? What? You know, it's fine. I'm not even gonna, I'm just not gonna question it. It's fine. You do whatever you want, random crazy ass burn player. Are you scooping to my Uro? I bet they're scooping in my Uro. Yay, magic. Opponent mold to five, scoop to Uro. I think Lanwar Visionary should be Birds of Paradise or something like that. I think so. Maybe even the Jiggy Wiggy special Ornithopter. I am playing 81 cards right now. I would like to fix that. I would like to fix that. All right, whatever. That's a good hand. Shit. It's not great, but it's good. Overachiever. Yeah, I guess so. This hand is nuts? Mm, it's not. It, it could be. If we rip a... Nope, no spring leaf drum. 
It's been a really long time since I've gotten Springleaf Drum or Goose into Kinnon into turn three. Oh, in, with um, Mox. I wonder if we should try some kind of 60 card version that's like streamlined. I just, I don't know what we end up cutting, but. So I'm kind of interested in the 60, yeah, I guess. It's always been the interesting thing about 60. It's just like, I don't know. Yeah. Send you your, okay. You know me, I'll look at anything. No play before combat. Okay. So this, like, this has got to be another Eidolon, right? I really hope not. Don't, 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 stop it. No. No. Bad burn player. Don't, don't you play another Eidolon. Slap you back to the Ming Dynasty. That joke was funny because a black man said it to an Asian man. Shadow Spear? There's one spear here. Spear or Ballista? Spear is probably the best. There's a Rush Hour 2. Maybe Rush Hour 1. I think in this deck, Jiggy, you could cut a Karn. Maybe one Karn and one. One Karn and one Ren and Six, probably. Yeah, but. Proportionally, three cards in 60 is equal to four and 80. Yeah, but you also have four Urzas, and Urza is also the nuts. Sinking Ren, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a good draw. Well, I think we just beat Burn. They can't play Searing Blaze right now. So if they want to beat me equipping the Shadow Spear to a creature, they have to spend an actual Burn spell. Yay, magic. All right. That's the third 3-2 in a row for the new Teamer Kinnon Erosa deck. Uh, I think I probably need to make some harsh cuts like Trinket Mage and some of the one-of package. I think Jiggy's list might be closer to what we should be playing. I think there maybe these Llanowar Visionaries should go out for things like Birds of Paradise, which would drag our curve down, but then it makes the Song of Creation better in the mid to late game. So. Definitely some interesting choices, cuts, and changes to be made in the coming weeks. Um, also, the sideboard in this deck could use some massaging in that these Galvanic Blasts would be happy in the main deck, which would give us more room for something, some kind of stack interaction. 
in the sideboard because I don't know if we need Aether Gust, but I think something like Metallic Rebuke or Mystical Dispute or Force Negation or something of that nature is probably where we need to be. We should also investigate that 60 card version, which we may be doing tomorrow. But for this evening, that is all for me here on the Mana Symbol channel. I know it's been a quicker night than usual. We had two very quick leagues with decks that I thought were going to take a lot longer. Um, but I'm glad all of y'all have joined me here. I'm sorry I'm not my usual peppy, vim, and vigorous self. I hope to be back to that as soon as possible um, in this wonderful modern format or whatever we choose to play on this channel. Um, so I'm going to call it for the night. Um, so I will see all of y'all tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, check out my YouTube Check out my Twitch channel. Do you have a link for that South Park Astrolabe GIF? Uh, it's on Reddit. Thank you for the follow. Bear Spider. That's a sweet name. Um, if you look up Mana Symbol on Reddit, you will get a link for it. Oh, uh, no. Uh, go down, Pogo Shark. Go down below the stream. There's a button for my memes, and it's on my imager. So, yes, I do have a link for that. Uh, I don't know if it's posted publicly i also don't know if that matters but if you look me up on reddit you'll find it or if you go to magic the circle jerking which i hate the name of i really do i loathe it i think it's very inappropriate but i guess that's the point of the subreddit um it's more the fact that it's a little bit sexist i don't mind that it's sexual um anyway point is uh magic the circle jerking is the meme filled uh, magic subreddit and if you go and check that out you will probably see my post uh, mana symbol is also the name of my reddit so you can check that out there um, and all of my content is linked below including my memes uh, if you can't find it in the imager dump please let me know um, anywho yeah calling it for tonight am tired um, thanks for hanging out folks uh, teamer kinnan rosa is still alive and uh, kicking and the Sultai rec deck was fine. See you folks around. Take care of yourself. Take care of your friends, your family, and your loved ones, especially all my friends in the States. Um, you guys are going through a whole time still, and I know you know that. But um, just know that people around the world, I'm sure, feel for you and what you're going through. And uh, just take care. 